search operators, finding the information you need. This lesson will help you conduct more effective searches on Google using other internet search engines or in databases. So the internet is a big place. When you conduct an internet search, sometimes you can get thousands, hundreds of thousands, or even millions of results. So how do you wade through all of that to find the right information? Well, you can use special terms called search operators, and these terms can help you narrow down or sometimes even broaden your search to get at those exact terms uh, for the information that you're looking for. Now, there are three main search operators. Two of them are used to help narrow down your search and reduce the number of results, and one of them is help broaden your search or increase the number of results. The two that help narrow your search are and and not, and the one that helps broaden your search is or. So if you want to search for two or more things at the same time, you can add and between the words. So if I want to search for apples and oranges at the same time, I can type in apples and oranges. If I want to search for apples, oranges, bananas, and grapes at the same time, and I want all the pages that show up to have all four of those things, I would type in apples and oranges and bananas and grapes. Now, some search engines such as Google automatically assume that you want to put and between two words if you type them in. So if I'm typing and in, I'm going to get results for both apples and oranges. I'm not going to get results just for apples and I'm not going to get results just for oranges. It will give me both. So let's look at what I did here. Here I typed in apples. You can see that all my results are from apples. I get questions about apples. I typed in oranges. My results are about oranges. I get questions about oranges. Now I'm putting in and. Now this is a Google search, so I just did it without the word and, and you can see that if I just type in apples, oranges, I get results about apples and oranges. All my questions involve apples and oranges as well. Here I typed in apples and oranges. Now this happens to be a particular phrase, so that came up first, but otherwise, most of my results are exactly the same. This would be the same if I typed in apples and oranges and bananas and grapes. Then instead of having apples and oranges here, I'd also have results that included bananas and grapes as well. Now the second search operator is or, and this is used to broaden your search so that you can find more information about a topic. You're gonna get results for either term. So this could be good if you wanna see what's out there. Let's say you're doing a project on apples or oranges and you wanna see what has more information, you could use or for that. Okay, so when I search with or, I'm gonna get results for apples or oranges, or maybe both. Okay, so here I did apples or oranges and you can see my first result is apples and oranges, but my next result is actually just oranges. Um, so when I'm searching for that, I can get different results in my search. The third one is not. So if you want to search for a topic, but you don't want a related part of that topic, for example, if you want to search for dogs, but you don't want to search for Pomeranians, you could filter the results so that any pages with Pomeranians don't show up in your results. Okay, for most search engines, you don't actually type in the word not, you use a hyphen. Okay, so if I type in the word not, I'm going to get results for apples, but maybe if I type in apples not fruit, I'm going to get results for apples, but I'm not going to get results for apples that are related to fruit, and you'll see an example of that in a second. All right, so here I typed in apples, right, and you can see most of my results are about the fruit. Okay, but I don't want results about the fruit. I want the product. So I'm going to type in apples minus fruit. And you can see here that all of a sudden I don't have any results about fruit, right? I have uh, the iPad. I have questions about Apple products and Apple the company. So that effectively took out all the fruit references for me. Notice there's no space between the hyphen and the search term. You have to make sure that's true if you're going to search this way. So there are uh, some other search operators as well that you can use to get more specific results. And one of those is putting things in quotation marks. So instead of searching for apples, oranges, I could search for apples, oranges in quotation marks, and that would give me results where apples and oranges appear together. 
on a page. Okay, so look here, I searched for apples, oranges, right? Um, and I get results for apples and oranges, apples to oranges. When I put them in quotation marks, I only get results where apples, oranges appear next to each other. Now there might be a few words in between them like and or the or to or a comma, but they're generally right together, okay? If I searched apples, oranges, bananas, pears in quotation marks, I would only get results that have apples, oranges, banana, pears in sequence together on a page. So why do we use quotation marks to search? Well, they're really great when you're searching for song lyrics, a line from a poem, a specific title, a quote, if you're looking for a name of a person or a place um, or a product. So for example, if you're searching for the name of your school and your school is Walters High School, if you type in Walters High School, you could get a lot of results. Um, but if you type in that specific Walters High School in pro quotation marks, you're only gonna get results from pages that say from Walters High School itself. Another search operator is the define, and this is a really way to get a quick definition of a word. So rather than typing in the word and hoping the definition comes up at the top or typing in what is the definition of, you can just type in define, colon, and the word that you want a definition of. Okay, so I define apples. Right here, I get the definition of apple. It's very simple. Another search operator that can be helpful is the site. So if you want to search on a specific site, for example, if you want to search helpteaching.com to see if we have questions or worksheets on a specific topic, you could type in that topic and then site, colon, helpteaching.com. When you're conducting research, you know that it's better to use sites that have endings such as .gov because they tend to be more reputable. So in this case, you can search for your topic and you could search site, gov and you're only going to get results that come up from sites that end in gov. Okay, so I search for apples site.gov and you can see that all the results I get are from gov reputable sites and so this can help with my research.